Hello, my warriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. We are going to go to Solaris today, guys. I'm super excited because I read a little bit and I tested a little bit and we are going straight towards the Solaris 7 Championships today. And how do we do it? Uh, first of all, we need to get some money and then we need to build our Phoenix the best way possible because that's going to be our dedicated, our dedicated arena mech. We're going to play a bunch of solo duels and hopefully, at the end of the day, we are the champions of the Solaris 7 League. So, let's go ahead and, um, what are we doing first, actually? Maybe I should check out my, my store. Yeah, that's what we do. Okay, so first of all, I want to not use the Clint. We don't need that thing. We just don't need it. So, we're gonna refund 437,000 sea bills. That's beautiful. Okay, so now that we got that, we're definitely gonna scrap this bad boy. We're gonna scrap the Vulcan. Goodbye, and we're gonna scrap the fire starter as well. Goodbye, because we don't need them. I am out of here. The other thing that we want to do is we want to, again, make the best version of the Phoenix Hawk possible. Um, and for that, I kind of have to cannibalize a little bit of my other mech. Or mechs, even. We're gonna take the advanced optics out of here. We need the energy accuracy. And maybe even the clan cockpit for even more gunnery. Our goal is to hit as hard and as often as possible. So, we're gonna take that. Uh, and then we're gonna put it into the mech later. But yeah, let's go. We're gonna navigate. Let's go to Solaris 7 and see what we can find there. It's another 16 days travel time. 25,000 sea bills. Luckily, we didn't get far away from this point. And again, as you can see, I'm super excited to actually check this out. I did it once. I, I was trying it. I, I was like, I need to experiment with that behind camera. Uh, or off camera so that I can actually tell you how this is working and what this is all about. I didn't dive into it too deep, I just checked it out to know how to use it, how to utilize the Solaris uh, mechanism here. Um, and yeah, this is where I am right now, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I played one mission and, and then I stopped and then I started recording. Cool. We want the advanced optics here. We want the energy fire control system because we mostly have energy weapons. So, energy accuracy, we want, plus one gunnery, absolutely, uh, what, no, wait, 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 energy accuracy here, this is the cockpit item, the clan cockpit, plus one gunnery, and then we also have a, we have a sheath beacon, which is amazing, that's very good ECM, gives us an ECM protection of four, and yeah, it really I really hope that it helps us surviving for a good chunk of time. We don't need the melee stuff here. That's important. Um, it, we cannot really punch anybody. What we could do is... We can think about the talons. We get 10% more kick attack damage. A bit more death from above damage. This is actually basically more for death from above than anything else. So I guess we are... This is, we, we ignore it. What else is there? We have a ton. That's the thing. We have one ton to work with. Players are not handheld. No. Um, yeah, I mean, I think if we could find another wing-mounted item, another bomb maybe, another, like, Vulcan gun or something, that would be great. But I think we have to look for it in... AMS? That's ah, too big. It's a three-ton item. Yeah, we have to look for it in the store of Solaris. So we're going in under tonnage at the moment. But again, this is... There's nothing we can do. There's nothing that we have that makes the mech better. Not really. So, we're gonna keep going. I'm not gonna upgrade the ship anymore because we also need a healthy amount of money to actually enlist to sign up for the tournament. What's going on here? Look at all the dropships. Have there always been that many? I don't know. We also want to check the hiring hall and we also want to check the store when we arrive. So, let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we find something to make our mech better. Alrighty, here we are. We can buy a Juggernaut for 9 million. Boat on rockets. Nah. Nah, I don't really care about that. ERPPC, Hyper Velocity Auto Cannon 2, LB10 Auto Cannon. Not bad. Got a bunch of engine cores, a mace. Sadly, we cannot really. Can we go physical? No, I don't think we can physical attack in a lamb, right? We have to be in mech mode in order to use our hands. When we are in flight mode, we have no hands, right? Our hands are wings at that point. We can use the kicks, sure, but nothing else. Then we have the Solaris Championship thing that we're gonna buy in a second. Turret mount. So this is sadly only ammo. Cluster bomb. High explosive bomb. Yeah, I kind of want that. 
want to have it. It's quite expensive right now. We might want to get that later. So, a thing that I can drop probably is uh, stuff from uh, here, right? We have a bunch of engine cores that we are not using right now, so we can drop them. We need to get to about 750,000 sea bills. So, let's go exactly there. Two XL engines. I actually want to keep that. A standard fusion thing can go. Single heat sink cooling can go. Oh god, what else is there? Regular armor, active camouflage, no. Small cockpit, basic cockpit. Endo steel. Lots of fire control systems standard. We don't need them anymore. Two ferro. Again, I need that. I need all of it. You cannot convince me to drop my fancy items. I might want to use them in a mech at some point. Uh, can we drop... Yeah, we have this pirate PPC that has a record of 3. Plus 1 accuracy is nice. 25% crit is nice. A jamming of 2 is nice. Damage variation is funky. And then uh, we have damage fall off. But we have no minimum range. It's not fall off. No, never mind. It's like this minimum range bracket where we deal 25% less damage when we are in minimum range. I don't think I'm going to run this. I'm going to get the money out of it. Okay, so now we have that. Wanna check the hiring hall? Maybe we can find somebody here. As how many gold? Gladiator Mech Warrior. Hacker. Hacker's good. There's a lot of good affinities. That is Glasswing. I like Brave a lot. Since resolve really matters on a, on a personal level now. We have Technician, which is good. We have X Comstar, which is good. Another 0.5 Mech Tech. As well as X Military and Sp Spacer. He has a high upkeep though. He also comes with a good chunk of, uh, of, of skills already. I mean, upkeep is here. And he also has a high initial cost. Is he worth it? Got nine births right now, or nine, nine pilots right now. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna really go for more special pilots, I think. We wanna hunt the big ones, the good ones. That means. We can go back to store and we can actually start our championship. So, let's go. So this is what you have to do. You have to have a little bit of money in your bank account in order to finish the next event that's coming afterwards. So this is just a sign up uh, cost here, the 125,000. And we want to go for the championship and not the open open game license. <laughs> Did I say open game license? <laughs> oh my god. I have uh, I have heard that word too often recently. Uh, the What is it called? Open matches. Yeah, that thing. Okay, now that we have bought the championship thing, we gotta advance the timeline one day and now we can purchase the axes. Let's go. It's kind of like a like a mini event and then a flashpoint coming afterwards. So what are the prices? The prices are sea bills, custom gear, or even the rights of those we defeat. What classes can we take here? Uh max. We wanna go with a medium max. And it's singular, actually. We want, or we need one mech only. So 500,000 sea bills, and the higher you go in class, um, the more expensive it gets. And here's the thing, I feel like you, um, how to say it? I don't know if this is um, like reputation based, or if this is, if you have a heavy mech, you can enlist. If not, then you don't. So I'll go with this. At the same time, do we have a light mech currently? I guess not, we don't have a light mech. Ah, whatever. Now, a new flashpoint has spawned right on our position, Solaris 7. It's a long engagement, we have no consecutive deployments, which means we can repair in between, and we're gonna get a champion reward. Okay. We have 128 mech warriors that will participate in a playoff to become the champion in the weight class for mechs for from 36 to 55 tons. Let's begin. Alrighty then. Commander, the game organizers have confirmed our registration. What are the rules? Rules are very straightforward. 128 mech warriors participate in a playoff type elimination tournament. Those who make it to the top 16 get an increasing cash prize and the winner is named the champion of the season in the medium weight class. What are the tonnage restrictions? As the medium weight class, anything from 40 to 55 counts. They said 36 earlier, but that's just because, you know, there's no 36 to 39 ton mech. That's it. Anything else to know? This is a no holds bad tournament. You can expect to see non-standard custom designs, dodgy tactics and plenty of carnage on the arenas. Since this is an elimination tournament, if you lose the battle, you're out. Okay. Let's do it then. Are we done? 
Yeah. We also want to probably upgrade our pilot. Because every point of gunnery, every point of tactics probably matters. So currently we have Kaspar Amaris on our Phoenix Hawk Lamb. Was there anybody else who was playing that thing? Anybody that had more proficiency here? No, you were on the UCL. It seems like everybody has touched the Bushwalker at, very, at the very least once. You are on the Phoenix Hawk, but that's not the Phoenix Hawk Lamb. I think these are distinct mechs. Yes, they are. And then there's Wizard on the Rifleman. Oh, we have Focus Fire unlocked already. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna give you a bit more gunnery. And honestly, let's get a bit more guts. Might help. All right, great. I'm ready to go. Let's go to the command center and play the first mission. One out of 64. First elimination starts now. Out, 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 out. Out, out. Yes, I'm under tonnage, but again, there's not really anything that I can put on the mech that would be helpful. Oh, wait, maybe? Guess we have a cooling pod. In case somebody comes in with uh, with heat damage, then we might, might want to use that. I would probably rebuild it after this fight, if we survive it. So, again, I've tried one game, uh, just to see how this is going, just to confirm that I can repair and, you know, how many enemies and, like, what's, uh, what's the rules of this tournament. Um... I did it off camera, so I'm excited to see what's coming now. Playing a solo duel, and as you can see down there, we even get a bit of money for it. No salvage, because it's a friendly duel, um, but we get 210,000 seabills if we win this mission. And that means we're gonna get our repair costs covered, we're gonna get probably even a bit more than our repair cost actually costs, and that means that we can probably advance over the next uh, financial threshold, probably, hopefully. The upkeep needs to be paid. I, I, I really wonder if we can get to the point where we are Solaris champion, man. Here we go. This is the best mech possible that we have right now. Okay, moons have lower gravity. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Sure, we know that. Enemy is here. So, look at my heat down there. I need to make sure that I'm generating evasion, but not too much heat. I just sprint. I'm gonna say hello to whatever that is. A chameleon, alright. Is he gonna attack me already? Wow! He's accurate. Oh, I did not like that. At all. Can go in his flank. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Hello! I'm here. We have a pretty good hit chance. And I'll totally drop the bomb on you. Bada boom! We got an injury. That's great. I like he got an injury. Oh, you're all in? Don't even move, but hit me hard? It's generating a quite good chunk of heat, that is. Okay, we go down here. Wanna stay in motion, and I want to hit him with the laser beams. And that's the end of it. That's the first mission. Aced it. Okay. So, here we go, right on to the 1 out of 32. Mission successful. How many games do we play? Wait, we have 128 participants, right? Out of... wait, out of... 60... was it 64? 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, 7, 5. Uh, it's Solaris 7, right? It's, it's that. We have 7 fights to actually get through. Okay. Let's do it. That was a chameleon. I was actually baffled by his accuracy. So these are probably seasoned pilots with very good skills. And probably a good chunk of good targeting gear in their mechs as well. So I cannot probably outrun them all the time. Uh, we'll see about this. So four days for repairs. Great. And again, we can repair in, in between. There's no big deal. Got it. Perfect. Okay, uh, I wanted to build something, so let me quickly do that. That last ton. What are we doing with it? I said earlier, a bit of equipment would go a long way. Uh, it's cooling equipment, so we have that cooling pot here. Talons. I don't see the talons here. Another double heatsink would be nice, but it doesn't fit. 
stealth X. No, I think stealth is not good here because the more you move, the more you lose it. Right? Oh no, it's a sensor stealth. Yeah, yeah, the mimetic stealth works like that. Boom. Ba -ba -ba. We want to fight at close range anyway, or like all the time, and it will generate more heat. I don't want more heat on my mech. A C3 slave doesn't do anything for us. We have a better laser. Diverse optics is interesting, but it's, it's hotter. It's way hotter. We are small. No, I don't think that we can make this guy better right now. We have the support hardpoint kind of filled up with our sheath beacon. We cannot really use it. It's, it's okay. Let's go with the cooling pot in case we need it. It's smart putting it into the center. It, it could explode. It's volatile. I don't know. Let's go. Continue. So, next up. Same mission. In a polar environment. And yes, we are technically still under tonnage. We have a fraction of a ton that is not yet filled. But there is nothing yet we can really do right now. I'd rather have my armor maxed out, especially in these 1v1 duels. So, there's that. Also, I pumped all of my excess experience into guts for our friend here, right? So I don't think I can upgrade gunnery or tactics again between the fights. Should probably check it out, but I doubt it. Win the duel. So this time in polar environment, there is no cover here. This is just a flat, like, tundra. Begin the mission. Also, I do wonder, what is this lore-wise? Do they have these battle arenas that they fill with artificial snow and artificial heat and stuff like that? And then broadcast from, from everywhere here? Probably want to do this, right? Get the high ground, get an overview. Line holder. Oh, okay. 55 tonner. He's hitting us like a boss. All right. Um, I mean, backstabbing. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted to say backstabbing would be nice. Let's go for it. We can do it. Here comes the sprint. Gonna use the bomb. And we're gonna go for it. Okay, we got a heat sink. Ah. Man, we need more initiative to fight these. Yeah, because the retaliation is coming directly. I think we have it though, right? I'm gonna sprint on the high ground again. I get 11, which is okay. As long as the armor is holding and he's not gonna get another backstrike out, I think we're fine. Okay, got the large laser down at the very least. That's good. Still has a lot of structure left in the center. And seems to run X, uh, standard engine, not XL, standard engine. So far, so good. I can go for his back yet again. Oh, I love this. You cannot run, you cannot hide. But you can live. And that's another attack from behind. This time missing completely, love it. Ooh. Yeah, I think evasion is our best bet right now. Want to stay in motion? I could have gone for it, staying closer to get a bit of a better accuracy for my medium lasers, but I don't really want to risk it. So, on to 1 out of 16. We're gonna make this happen, guys. We have to. So far, it's looking very good. That was the second fight. And, you know, we're gonna get money. With each mission, there's a little bit of extra money that we're gonna squeeze out of this tournament. So, this is actually a very quick way to gather some seabells. We wouldn't get any equipment, unless we might get to, to the championship. Like the champion, being the champion. Winning the tournament, you know? Okay. Come on, I want to get to the third mission. Load faster. Also, what I wonder is, is there like a, like a real simulation running in the background? We have 120 participants and they are calculating who wins against who now? By the way, do we say who or whom? Who against whom? Okay. One out of 16. I'm gonna wait for my repairs. Oh, magpie stash. We totally... We totally opened that. 
Ah, okay, it's the bad, the bad outcome. We get an injury, sadly. Fine. I don't know, is this gonna come around again? Can we try again at some point? Because I believe you can just get a nice loot cache with some items in it. So, Flashpoint active. Next! 1 out of 16. Gonna use our lamb, obviously. So this is the third fight out of seven. And what did they say? When you get to the, the best 16, then you get extra cash. So what I believe is that you get more money out of the mission, right? So just the mission payment is getting higher and higher. And I think if you win, like finish the flashpoint, then you get the loot cash. So thinking of from a developer standpoint here, I don't think that you will get anything if you lose the flashpoint. I don't think that they could build that. The modders. But the, the basic gameplay mechanic is that you get a loot cache at the end of a flashpoint, usually, right? So I think they've worked with that. Command interface initiated. Okay. Oh, that's a good map for us. We have big cover. Oh god, it's a bombard. Oh no. Oh no. That is a 55 toner with a double XL engine and two big ballistics. I'm gonna take cover. So much cover. I'm out of here. Race. Uh huh. Oh, wait. Is that bait? I'm gonna take that shot. 100%. It didn't kill. Oh no. Oh, he's so close to death though. Don't hit me. Double hit. Holy crap. Double freaking AC20. Um. Oh god. I cannot take another one of those hits. Is this too risky? See, if I miss the kick, I have no evasion. None. And I'm food. But. He just hit me twice with those big guns. I'm gonna risk it. We have to knock him or kill him, whatever. That's a hit. Sadly on the wrong leg. Kill him in the back. We got him, right? Holy macaroni. Ooh. Mission successful. Holy crap. Double AC trend. That's devastating, man. That is so devastating. And that hit chance. Again, these guys are elite mech warriors. It's crazy. God, I wonder what else is coming in here. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Did I finish my sentence earlier? I really wonder if they're like, is, is, is there like a simulation behind that? Where you have that amount of mech warriors with that amount of mechs and they actually like sort them out in the background. And, um, you like simulate everything. Or if it's just, you know, you get into a mission and it's just a random enemy that you face in the bracket that you negotiated for. Probably the second. I think it would make more, more sense, right? Because why would you need to simulate? There is no need of knowing who is in and who is out, really. Okay. So we made it to one out of eight. Holy crap. Yes. We got 600,000, so the next financial report is saved. We got six days. I say... Wow, what do I say? Give me a second. Say we sell a bit more stuff. To make sure. Go to storage, go to light. The fire starter can probably go. Okay. Commandos can go, I don't need them. Just need a bit of extra, a bit of surplus. Surplus? Fluid gun narc. Ah, get out of here. The raptor is good. I'll take the spider and drop it. Take some locusts and drop them. So I think I want to get to 700,000 just to make sure. Something like that. Mobile HQ, yeah. Get rid of that thing. It's actually quite expensive. Why is that? Oh, it can resupply and repair. You see that above the weapons? It says two medium lasers and right above it can resupply and repair. Mm, I think I'm not still not running this thing. 
But there are some tanks that I know of that also have that perk. Kind of want to play around with that. Okay, guys. Crew is ready. We're safe. With the money. I also... I also want to check if there is something in the store that is helping us out. The store will cycle through each month and will give us new stuff. Mantis, such a weird mech. With the weird arms and everything. I think it runs claws, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, we got fire fists. Handheld melee weapon. I think the mech that we run right now came initially with fire fists, so... These are weapons that are not melee weapons, that these are handheld weapons that shoot into a very into the fight when you are in super close range. So you can kick and then fire fist. But they are very expensive. Okay, we got some Beagle Extended. It's nice. Um, Guardian ECM is nice. Melee fire control system is nice. Implants re uh, appointment, reinforced legs, Mark II. Tell me more about it. Yeah, it's just armor and structure. I don't really care. Solaris spikes. It's for charge attack damage. No, we don't need that. More ammo for the base. Okay, cool. No, I guess we are going in. Oh, I'm excited. And a bit afraid. We've made it so far. Let's continue. Okay. And by the way, guys, uh, for all of you uh, who are interested uh, in seeing more... Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos like that. If you haven't done that already, please do it. Also leave a like, you know, help me out a bit as a content creator if you haven't done it yet and if you want to. So we're playing Solo Duel in Lunar Environment again. And the money is going a bit up. I don't know if you could see it earlier. Instead of 220,000, we now gain 225,000 or so. Um, maybe it's just like a, like a bit of a variation that's normal. We'll see. So this is our fourth fight, right? Played against Chameleon, we played against the Bombard, we played against the Line Holder so far. Let's go. I'm actually getting excited. Like, if I was in this tournament for real. This is so, so cool. I really want to finish this. Because I haven't done it yet, you know, and it feels good. Going higher and higher, and the you know the, the stakes are getting higher and higher because uh, the further you go, the harder the fall is gonna be. If you get eliminated in the first few rounds, ah, screw it. You know what? We're gonna enlist again, and we're gonna try next month or so. But I really want to get that cash. I've already invested so much. We've gotten so far. Command you know? interface initiated. All right, here we go. How can I get cover? I don't know if I, this hill is enough for me to break line of sight. And it is, I think. Ooh, Centurion. Centurion didn't do anything. Why? Means that we can get in his back. Oh, only with the charge attack though. Uh, yeah, we want to hit right side. Because that's where the weapon is. The big gun. We would have to accept a lot of self damage or i could jump how far can we even go is this real but that jump would generate so much ah and if we have a cooling pod mm. ah it's not a thing that i can um click my no i can click it myself right I can activate it myself. Ah, okay, I thought it was the, the other one that activates when you get external heat. So we can flush 20 of the heat that we got here. It's good enough for the bomb. We'll try. If that doesn't work, we have to we have to change our battle plan. So, cooling pod. Gotta change the battle plan. It's too hot. Way too hot. Can only shoot the bomb here. But hey, we got some damage in. Now the dance begins. All right, let's see how good he is. Missing his auto cannon, hitting us with the medium lasers. I think this is the Centurion. What's it called? Nine A. 
How's it going? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta make sure that he's not getting in our Let's back, but we want to be in his back. Fire. On it. Okay. Ah, oh, that's what I was dreading. Now we are unsteady, right? Yeah. We have another turn. Do I want to kick here? It's good damage, but it's only leg damage. Why would I kick? Come on, let's let's just just go. Moving for seven. I cannot sprint right now. Seven is the number, and the number is seven. So let's shake up the stability problem. Uh, get rid of one laser. Overheating would be death. Oh no! That's not enough, man. It's coming from the side, hitting me once more. It's actually a back straw. Oh, don't do it. Are we fine? What a fight, man. Receiving you. What a freaking fight. Uh, we can sprint again, which we should totally do. Get up the hill. S keep our back safe. That's the most important thing right now. We can shoot everything. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> man. These Mission. missions are giving me hell. <laughs> what a nail biter. Okay, so we now know that Jumping behind them, especially in, a, in an area where we don't cool that much in this lunar world, we shouldn't do it. We should not. Okay, but we won. And we didn't lose anything. Nobody got hurt. Nothing got crit. Let's go for another one. So we are now in the best eight, correct? We are now going to one out of four, which means we are fighting against um, seven other people still, I believe. This is so, such a nail biter. It's giving me a heart attack. But honestly, I feel like we have the best mech possible for this setting. I feel like I could have taken the Waka or the Rifleman, but I would have definitely taken more damage in return. This whole backstabbing plan is, I think, a good one. If only we can find more wing-mounted items. That would be so fantastic. So, here we go. Should have taken the Vulcan Cannon when I saw it. Like... Days ago. Okay, next one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, the money is getting a little higher every time. The higher we get, the more money we will take with us. Another polar environment. Okay, let's go. So we don't really worry about heat so much here. Maybe we can do this. Jump behind enemy and uh, shoot him in the back shenanigan. First round. Since we are in a cold environment now and we got our cooling part. We'll see. It really comes down to uh, what we face. I don't know, is this interesting for you guys? For me it's like the, the hell right now, it's so cool. I know we are playing the same strategy and we are playing the same mech, but we don't know what we face and we don't know what they are doing and what they are set up for and how to actually counterattack them. Reactor online. Online. Okay. Online. Here we go. Nominal. Let's do it. Command Already have enemy initiated. contact. It's a wolfie. Okay. 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 Good to go. Uh, yes, we want to jump away, like real far away, and brace for the first turn. Don't hit me. Ooh, acid. Right? Light damage, Commander. Need something, Chief? Ah, crap. We cannot go in his back. Oh, we can go in his back. Never mind. But not really with the bomb. We had to jump. Our hit chance is garbage. Oh, no. Why? Ah, we'll try this. Let's go. Maybe if we get closer, the hit chance will adjust a bit. Doesn't. <laughs> no sensors this round. Alright. 
We soften them up. And we're gonna do it next round again. Yeah, of course. Ultra 10. Oh crap. Oh crap. I can't take oh, that hurts. Orders. That hurts so much. Coordinates received. Okay. Let's go. Targeting now Crit? Anything? Oh, Critical the gyro. Hit. It's just a gyro. Multiple weapons with no ammo. Okay, I'm pretty happy that he didn't hit us with the autocannon, but those missiles, man. Waiting for orders. Ooh, gotta take the jump now, man. Can jump pretty far, it seems. Okay, what's our hit? Yeah, that's fine. I can use my cooling pod. Perfect. I can't. That's not enough. That is not enough. Okay, he didn't shoot the missiles. We need to finish him now. Otherwise, I think we are losing it. Jump again? No. We're gonna sprint here. Come on. I'll take the on nine. You're gonna show the right side more or less. Locked on, rear armor. Get him! Holy Locked crap! <laughs> Mission successful. Alright, on to the semi-final! Oh, gonna make this happen, man! Okay, 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 okay. Oh god, I'm sweating! Let's go. I have no idea what we're gonna get out of this. But this is so tense. You know, it is very swingy and this is what it makes it so interesting. Enemies are good, my mech is good, it, co it could go both ways at any point of the game. We just need to catch a, a stray shot, like something, a lucky shot or... Let's not even think about headshots, okay? That would be devastating. But yeah, this, this is where we are right now, this <laughs> is just... Crazy tension field. Good, good. So, semi-finals, right? That means we gotta get to the semi-finals and then to the finals. Two more missions, guys. Two more. We're gonna see how this is going. I want my reward. Give it to me, man. Okay, nine days. Yeah, man, that's a lot of time. But the good news is we are getting enough money to actually sustain ourselves. So did we get a crit? Also, if I ever wanted to build another mech, I should do it now. Because we have multiple mech bays and we only have one mech to rework right now. Doesn't seem like we got a crit. We are just under tonnage. Okay. So, guys, semifinals. On the lunar environment again. Let's go! Let's just do it. I do wonder if I should change the plan at some point, but you know what? It's kind of working. I feel like we are still a bit undergunned. So I would love to get a bit more damage output there. Um, but the whole backstriking works out for us. I can totally see myself running the Uziel in a similar scenario with a good chunk of mobility, with a good chunk of accuracy, and then dropping SRMs on these enemies. And maybe even some heat with the flamers and inferno missiles. But in a polar environment, our heat plan wouldn't work at, at all. So I wonder, is that the right choice? Probably not. So I think we're fine. We're gonna get 280,000 Seabills if we win. The difficulty rating is getting higher as well, right? That's now five skulls. Reactor online. I think it was lower before. Online. All Got such a nice mechanic in the game. Okay. Command interface initiated. So, semi-final, the best of the best. Good luck. Okay. So we got night vision. That's good for us. Try. It's a griffin. Hello, griffin. What's your deal? Standing by. Nothing. Uh huh. I'll take that. Thank you. 
he might have not seen me because of night time and everything. Nah, that is a bad hit. That is a pretty bad hit, but he should be aware now. He's running again. Oh, is this a trap? It could be. And hey, I want to stay up here. I want to have my back against the wall. And I hope that the griffin just doesn't know where the, the trigger of his weapon system is. Okay. Weird choice, but I'll take it. Need something, Chief? I really want 11. Cannot afford it, though. I want to stay as far away as possible because I'm afraid of a backstrike. And we can... Oh, wow, we got an overheat alert, huh? Confirmed. Is that enough? It's not. See, that's the problem. The medium lasers, man. It's okay. So, damage report. We got a bit of damage on the left arm. You know what? I can get up here. I think this should be it, honestly. And this time we should be able to shoot... No, we are not able to shoot everything. We are actually heat neutral if I shoot this amount of laser beams. Firing rear arc. Oh, not what I wanted. Come on. Sensor impairment. Not great. This guy might pop us if we are not getting lucky now. Come on. Come on. Fire. Yeah. We got him. That's On to the finals, I say. On to the finals. Oh, God. Guys, one more fight. One more fight. That is such a cool experience. I love it. I really love it. I don't know if I want to have it forever, um, but I might come back and purchase a heavy license at some point and, and try this again. So it's, it's nice to do this once, I think. I really do like the, the thrill of like grabbing loot and fighting multiple enemies at the same time as well. So I think this is not a thing that I would do every day. But again, we might come back here and maybe fight with a heavy mech and try to you know throw it into the ring. Okay, okay, okay. And this is it. The longer everything goes according to plan, the bigger the impending disaster. Impending or impeding? How do you say that? Um, yeah, this is what I have right now. This is what I feel right now. I feel like we're almost there. What if it collapses on us now? Give me my loot. What's going on here? Is this an event that's triggered now? No. We're just back in here. So, funnily enough, we have enough ammo. Uh, ammo. Uh, we have enough money for the next financial report. Also, the Solaris League really likes us now. My superiors, thank you for your willingness to take on challenging tasks. You are making an invaluable contribution to the advancement of Gladiator's interest in this region. Thank you. I'm doing my best. We're trying. Okay, guys. This is it. The final... <laughs> capital letters of the Solaris Medium Championship. We get 14,000 Seabills if we win. Right? And then some more. I, I don't know what to say anymore, guys. I can only repeat myself. I wonder what our end boss is gonna be. Griffin was actually quite nasty. I underestimated him a bit. I thought like, yeah, he got long-range weapons. We're gonna just underrun him and he cannot do anything to us. But then he actually hit us with the PPC, which was gnarly. That big pinpoint is our bane. You could see it in the bombard fight as well. If they hit us with a big gun, we're getting into trouble because then our armor is getting slimmer and slimmer. And if that side also gets crit, our mech explodes. Not with a crit, but you know, if that thing goes. So, bring it. Can I have an easy fight, please? Please? Uh-huh. Low loading time. Reactor there we go. 
This feels like a roguelike. A little bit. I mean, we are not getting random salvage in between the missions that we have to use to make our mech better. By the way, like a, like a real roguelike where you have like mission after mission after mission and you just gotta put your, your, your single mech together the best way possible. That would be nice. Like shorter game cycle is what I mean. The area shows signs of very volatile terrain. Be careful when moving about, Commander, and especially if you decide to jump. What does that mean? Moving out. All right, what do we see? Firestarter? If he runs flamers, we have an advantage because flamers cannot shoot into the sky. Standing by. Cannot get in his back. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Let's go. So here's what we do. Hear me out. I will shoot this amount of laser beams and not the bomb because he's currently braced and he's not taking all the damage. I want my heat and my damage to matter. Good shots against the leg. That means we could think about attacking him with a melee attack. Holy macaroni. That was a backstrike. Damage. Minimal. You little bugger. 65% to hit him. I will get away from him. Even if that means we have a pretty bad chance this round. I don't want to get hit again by that. Let's see what we can manage to do here. This time it's bomb time. Okay. Got a crit on the engine. Got a bunch of stuff destroyed. Medium poles, jump jets. Very good. We kind of immobilized him. Oh no. This is a micro-missile launcher, right? But I think he is bound to the high ground at this point. He might get in our back if I put myself here. Let's go here. On it. So I think we destroyed most of his jump jets. As a result, we cannot go far anymore. He's not going anywhere because we won! <laughs> Victory go, is ours! We are the champions! Oh my god! We did it! The best mech in this tournament is the Phoenix Hawk Lamb! Hell yeah! Oh my god, uh, such a relief, man. Such a relief. Now I want to get my goodies. So, give me my loot box. Give me my money. Give me my everything. Give me my enemies' max or whatever you can muster here. So, can I have it now? Please? We only get 14,000 sea bills out of this last mission. It's fair. Absolutely fair. Come on, guys. I don't, I don't want to wait anymore. I just want to get my hands on it. And what a mission today. I really hope you like that. Um, but if you do or if you don't, then uh, please let me know. Because I, you know, as a content creator, I also want to serve you the best I can. So if you're really into it, I might do it again in the foreseeing future. Um, but I think I want to optimize my mech a bit more so it has more kill potential. So, uh, yeah, let me know down below. Look who we got here. It's a Solaris champion in the medium weight class. Yeah, it's me. Congratulations, Commander. Thanks, Sumira. That's such an exciting moment. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad I have some champagne and whiskey stashed. <laughs> Cheers, Commander. Oh, thanks, everyone. Let's throw a party. Okay. Where's my loot? There's my three million sea bills. Okay. Okay. The cash items are garbage for my current state right now. I mean, articulated jump jets are so like quite nice because you get nice defense and walking distance. These are good. Um, and the an eleven ton maze is also an incredible item. Wait a second. How the hell? This maze is turned to eleven. Normally ten is the cap. Okay, okay, that's crazy. It's totally crazy. I don't know how you would hold this. With triple strength myomer and uh, industrial armor and stuff like that, probably. Holy crap. Three million sea builds. 
All right. You know what? I would have been a bit more excited about better random loot and maybe a million sea bills less, but okay. Look at this. We can buy whatever we want now. That's a big prize pool, dude. Holy hell, guys. That was hell of a ride. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.